figle, le muen. Ah, lo sale más. Yo conozco con tres, tres, tres. Que saca la parón que el compa le pongo. Oh, un nato, compa, ya que va a acabar la parón. Family Vacation on the Wings of Goodyear. My new book shows you 15,000 government programs you could use to change your life, too. You can get a better job, get an education, or start your own business. Next year, the government's going to spend $350 billion, and those who know about the programs are the ones who get the money. If I could get $15,000 to go back to school, any woman could do it. Call this number now. For only two payments of $29.95 plus shipping and handling, get Matthew Lasko's 1,100-page book and six-hour audio. With NASCAR on Speed Vision, you don't just get inside the car, you get inside their heads. I think I can hold these guys off. We'll see how it's going to be. Relive all the week's action with the guys who saw it firsthand. But we've all got to learn how to not wreck Mystic by that much. And check out the next generation of NASCAR stars. We think we're pretty good. Lock on to NASCAR on Speed Vision, and you won't get left behind. It's easy to do. Totally NASCAR, weeknights at 6.30 Eastern, and NASCAR Victory Lane, Mondays at 7 on Speed Vision. All over North America, there are places that you simply can't get to by car. Beautiful places that are only accessible by boat. And new electronic equipment for navigation is making long distance travel by boat far easier than ever before. But before you navigate into new areas, first you need current charts. A good compass is going to be useful as well. It helps you make sense of the charts and at the same time allows you to run your course with far greater accuracy. On a previous show, we showed you the basics of reading charts and how to plot a simple course. Well, today we're going to head out under the water and let you put those navigation skills to work. So, Mike, we've uh, just about to head out and put this navigation to the test. Uh, what have you got in store for us? Yeah, we've plotted a route here that'll take us eventually to Bull Castle. Our point of departure is Ed Huck Marine, and uh, our first leg will be a, a rather short one. Uh, once we get on course here, which is 141 degrees. Okay, I've got to steer 141 degrees? That's right. And uh, we want to uh, maintain a speed of five knots. And at, at our point of departure, we want to also note the time. It's 1550. And I'll mark that down on my chart here. Okay. Now, Mike, I noticed something different on your chart. You've asked me to steer 141 degrees, but uh, it's a little different um, on your chart. What's the difference? When we plot the courses uh, on the chart, we use a true north, but because we're using a compass to steer by, we have to convert that uh, to a compass course. And that's the difference between true north and magnetic north. So what I've told you to steer is that difference, which is 14 degrees west. Okay. Now, is there anything else that, um, other than the time, that I could use to know when we're close to that waypoint? Uh, yes, there's uh, conspicuous objects. Uh, as, you, as we'll see when we come up to the uh, end of this island, uh, there, there's a light uh, on the island. And if we're uh, off the light, we know that uh, that confirms, uh, basically, that our calculations are uh, correct. Now, that's okay, I guess, when you're close to shore and you're off a, a, a light. That's right. But I guess when you're in open water, then that time and speed becomes especially critical. It's very critical. Uh, it's called dead reckoning. And uh, the better uh, your steering is and uh, uh, how accurate your speed is becomes very important. Yep, we're coming up on our uh, the first waypoint here uh, in five seconds. Uh, at that time, we change course. And that's what a waypoint means? That's right. We change in direction. OK, so I guess we're just about yep. there. You can uh, change course to 117 degrees. Okay. Now, are we going to keep the speed constant here, Mike, um, at uh, that's five right. knots? Yep. And I suppose that that's going to then necessitate uh, a new time mark. Yeah, I, I just noted our time at that waypoint. And uh, now we've calculated the, uh, the, the time to our next waypoint, and that'll be seven minutes. At that time, we'll change course again. And I guess, of course, if we sped up, to 10 knots, then that you'd be you'd halving that time. That's and right. Continue yeah. from there. And it's important if you're going to change uh, your speed that you do it at a waypoint. Uh, if you do it in between, then your calculations uh, become corrupt. So I guess we're heading on this course for a little bit of time. That's what right. should we be looking for on the water? Well, I just noticed on the chart that at the end of this leg, there's a white buoy. 
So what I'll do is I'll uh, take a look through the binoculars and see if I can find it. I guess binoculars are pretty handy to have aboard. Yeah, it, it helps uh, with the visibility. Uh, I can see the color of the buoy much better through the binoculars. And it's a white and orange buoy, and I can, uh, I can make it out straight ahead. So we're right on course. It seems like that the only way that you're going to get in trouble on the water is if you, you know, if you don't chart a course and follow along very carefully. Because, uh, you know, as long as you're sort of keeping an eye on where you are at all times, you're going to know pretty quickly if you are off. Right. During the planning process, we can uh, sort of uh, have a preview of uh, our, our trip. We can uh, look at uh, what we're going to pass along the way, and then when we actually get there, uh, we see it. Like those rocks. Like those rocks. There you go. So, Mike, I think we're probably approaching that next waypoint. You can make a correction any time now. Now, we've been cruising and uh, nicely at five knots and really enjoying this beautiful fall day in the Thousand Islands, but let's say... Uh, Let's say we put it up and move a bit faster. Can you do some calculations that'll get us cruising at, let's say, 20 knots? Yep, go for it. Okay. So we're approaching the lighthouse. Yep, and uh, we're coming up on the time to, to make our uh, course change. So you can uh, steer at 200 degrees. Like uh, your mission's been accomplished. Yeah, there's the castle. We successfully made the castle. Haven't touched a rock. That's right. Now all we have to do is get home. Before heading home, we took some time for a brief tour around Bolt Castle. And then to get home, all we had to do was subtract 180 degrees from the various headings that we followed to get to the castle. You know, even if today's demonstration trip was a short one, it was done without the benefit of any local knowledge, and it was done in unfamiliar waterways to Mike and myself, which just proves that you can navigate safely if you've got a current chart, a compass, and a little bit of navigation knowledge. And the best way to get that navigation knowledge is to take a boating course, and at the same time, you can also qualify for your operator proficiency card. In future shows, we're going to be adding electronic navigation tools and eventually working our way up to a fully integrated electronic helm. Like to test your navigation knowledge? Go to www.boatsandplaces.com and challenge the order of the bent prop quiz. If you pass, you receive this certificate and at the same time have a chance to win Mercury Propeller Prizes. Good luck! Competition, there are numerous sites that challenge the teams and competitors. From setup and engine prep to the fitness of the driver, you will find that everything must be in top order if you want a podium spot. And come the second weekend of August, a unique competition takes place off the coast of Southern California, hosted by the Long Beach Boat and Ski Club. This pits not only sleek racecraft against one another, but also some of the best water ski racers from around the world. And did we mention the skiers have to cross 62 miles of open ocean in dense fog, try to find the turn at Avalon Harbor, then return to Long Beach Harbor, aiming to accomplish this in less than one hour, with more than a hundred other teams looking for the same spot on the winner's podium. And coming up next on the only network for competition on the water, it's the granddaddy of performance powerboat competition. In all the awards that you want to win in team competition, this would be the one to take home. That is, if you can take 62 miles of open ocean skiing, so hang on for the excitement of Catalina, up next, and only here, on on Speed Vision. the granddaddy of powerboat competition and competition offshore is proud to present coverage of the 53rd running of the catalina ski race presented by dick simon marine 
Hello, everyone. Ian Howard here, and thanks for joining us as we're in Long Beach, California, for the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. Well, I'm joined by Matt Grant. Matt, obviously, when you're talking about a race of this magnitude, 53 years strong, you're talking about a race with a lot of history, a lot of prestige, but you're also talking about the very best competitors in all the world. This is the best of the best. You actually have teams from all across the world teaming with the best boat racers out here to compete for this race. If you're a ski racer, you want to win the Catalina Ski Race, and there's a lot of talent out here, especially in men's open. We also obviously have Todd Haig, who's the last year's world champion. We have Stephen Robertson, who's placed second in the last two runnings. But don't forget, Marty Wells, who's a very good endurance ski racer. Yeah, Marty Wells took that terrible fall last year, knocked him out of competition. Of note is the course record, 52.03, set by the Italian Carlo Casa back in 1996. And then on the women's side, Matt, you're talking about some very good hard chargers. A lot of talent out there as well, Ian. In women's open, we have Ashley Lathrop. She's actually last year's champion. But also, don't forget, we have Tracy Graciano, who's a very strong competitor, Aaron Sanders, and Debbie Norblad. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good one out here. More than 100 different teams set to make the run out here. And really, the most exciting time the Queen's Gate run when all 100 teams line up there and take the start. The most exciting start you're going to see here, Ian, we have over 100 boats competing for that Queen's Gate. That Queen Gate is only 100 feet wide, so if you can imagine over 100 boats shooting for that. Plus, we got the middle of the course, which we call the channel, which is the roughest part of the race course, and then we got the first turn in Avalon where you can win or lose the race. Well, 62 miles round trip, 31 miles to Catalina Island, then 31 miles back. It is very exciting as we get set to bring you the 53rd installment of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. And coming up next, get set as more than 100 different race teams are ready for the green flag as Dick Simon Marine presents the 53rd running of the world's greatest water ski race. It's the Catalina Ski Race coming up next and only here on Speed Vision. Coverage of the 53rd running of the Catalina Ski Race has been made possible by Dick Simon Marine, by the Southern California Marine Association, by Formula Power Boats, by Outer Limits, by Fountain Power Boats, by Sonamp, and by Lyle Turbosonics. There's a time when this thing was sweet. I'm not sure when exactly. But now this relic is, um, shall we say, past its prime, sort of like your old computer. Right now, you can upgrade to America's favorite PC, a complete Dell system with an Intel Pentium 4 processor for just $8.99. Dig it. Oh, you're the more mobile type. Not a couch potato. You can get a Dell notebook with an Intel Pentium 3 processor for $11.49. Check this out. Right now, both come with a free printer. Getting a Dell is so easy. All you gotta do is call or go online, and the Dell folks will help you build the computer that's right for you. Yup, a Dell desktop for $8.99 or a notebook for $11.49. Well, don't just sit there. At these prices, you can get a Dell with what you find right here. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Easy to buy, easy to own, easy as Dell. When you have money problems, just going to the mailbox can be frightening. It's the same when the phone rings. You know it's another creditor. I thought bankruptcy was the only way out. And then I called Ameridad. Every day, Ameridad helps more people with money problems. We're a nonprofit organization offering free consultations to consumers seeking to eliminate their debt. Now my balances are dropping, and I only have one small monthly payment. Call this number regardless of your situation. Ameridad, helping America get out of debt. Before you hit the water, check out the hottest accessory of the year, watercraftnews.com. It's brought to you by the editors of PwC Magazine and Watercraft World, and it's loaded with all the latest news and information from the world of watercraft. You'll find the latest breaking news, new product reviews, racing updates, travel ideas, as well as feature articles. So, before you hit the water, log on to watercraftnews.com. Welcome back to the 53rd annual Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. Well, it's been a foggy morning here in Southern California. Queen Mary serving as the backdrop here this weekend. Racing actually delayed more than three hours. We were supposed to have the green flag start and the flare fly at 8 a.m., but now it's past 11 a.m. as the boats are finally making their way out to the Long Beach Harbor, and race conditions have been treacherous so far, Matt. Not a lot of visibility as we get set to kick off this 53rd annual water ski race. Really 
the granddaddy of them all. And how much will these conditions play a factor here, Matt, as we get a look at the race course? Well, right now, these race teams are very out of sync, if you will. They were all hyped up for the beginning of this race to start at 8 o'clock. Now it's like three hours later. So a lot of things have changed. Now they get to get back into the groove and head to that race course and get a good start. Well, 62 miles round trip, as we talked about in the open, Matt. 31 miles each way. And as we said, through that Queen Gate breakwater, that's where it gets really hairy out there on the race course. Well, you can see the red flag up. So we're just moments away from start time. More than 100 teams set to take the start here in this 53rd annual Catalina Water Ski Race. As we said, probably the most prestigious of all the water races in the world. Teams from everywhere, not only in this country, but throughout the world as the yellow flag is now up. We got a lot of competition now. We got the best world-class skiers out here trying to compete as best they can for the country. Right now, these observers are getting their skiers ready. They're getting those lines out as straight as they can, taking out all the tension and trying to get the best start possible. Because remember, you have 100 boats shooting for that Queens Mary gate because it's only 100 feet wide. You got to get a really good start. Well, we're just seconds away from start time. All the helicopters in tow and the flare flies and a green flag on the race course. So more than 100 teams making the start here, Matt. They'll be strewn out all over the race course, as you said, heading through that 100 foot wide. Queensgate breakwater, then to the open ocean, 31 miles out to Catalina Island, then 31 miles back. And the record here for the Catalina race, 52 minutes, 3 seconds, set back in 1996 by Carlo Casa. So that's the record to beat. Conditions look pretty good, though, flat as we take the start. And it looks like Stephen Robertson, reigning world champion aboard boat number 55. He's off to the lead. He got the whole shot here, Matt, and that's very important as they head for the breakwater. Very important because these water conditions are going to change. And once you get out of these breakwaters, you can see the water conditions are pretty smooth, a little bit choppy. But watch when they get out of that breakwater because once you get into that channel, you're going to start hitting some swells. And that's where the uh, water conditions take a real big toll on these skiers. Well, Stephen Robertson from Sydney, Australia, he has the lead, as we said, the reigning world champion. And look at all the boats passing by here, more than 100 different teams. And the goal here, just try to stay as safe as possible. And of course, you don't want to fall down right here. You don't want to fall down right here. There's a lot of clean water and also a lot of messed up water. If you fall right here, you have to wait for all these boats to pass you before you make that big sweeping turn. Pick up your skier and head out there. Because if you fall right here, Ian, you have a bad chance of losing this race. Well, Stephen Robertson remains out front. So far, we haven't seen Todd Haig, Marty Wells, Carl Goldsmith, Brett Dominguez all up there. So the team's setting the pace right Right now from the men's open that's our quickest class as we said the record 52 minutes three seconds set by carlo casa of italy back in 1996. carlo not here though remains in italy we'll see him for the world championships later on this year at lake mead and parker arizona but right now it's all stephen robertson out front as we said the world champion representing the country of australia Water conditions, like I said, these are open ocean. A lot of these West Coast teams, even from America, are used to these water conditions. Now these people from Europe, all over the world, got to really prepare themselves. And, and this is like an endurance race. You can see the, the skiers taking a lot of pounding. He's trying to absorb the shock as much as he can with his front hand. He's got the wrap tied up behind him to kind of have him pull behind that boat. But look at his legs. His legs are really trying to absorb as much shock as possible. Remember, this is a 62-mile race. Well, Stephen Robertson, Sydney, Australia, reigning world champion, out in front, actually the first boat and the first First team to get through the Queensgate breakwater there and now Stephen Robertson you can see him motioning to his team a thumbs up sign so right now he's very comfortable with the pace and of course these guys running top speeds 90 miles per hour sometimes 100 miles per hour so you can imagine that in the open ocean there's his team right there a 39 foot thoroughbred foot throttle center steering on this team so Robertson off to a good start the bad boy security title race team and right now they're off to a great start Matt a lot of communication going inside these boats you can see his observer telling him that the water conditions are good. He's really keeping an eye. He's really excited about what his skiers doing right now. But these boat teams, remember, they're used to offshore racing and trying to keep those boats in the water as much as they can, trying to make a good, clean path for these skiers. Well, Stephen Robertson, he's the early leader. He's the pace setter here as you're watching the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race right here on Speed Vision. Welcome to Performance Motorsports in San Juan Capistrano, the largest Honda motorcycle dealership in Orange County. We have hundreds of bikes available and our showroom is packed. We're dealing to earn your business. We carry Honda, Sea Doo, and Fun Runner trailers, and hey, no reasonable offers refused. As you can see, nobody has a larger parts and accessory showroom than Performance Motorsports. I bought my bike at Performance Motorsports and they'll challenge any deal. They're just off the 5 Freeway in San Juan Capistrano. Come on down and let's go ride. <laughs> Seriously, man, what's your real name? It's Trey Wingo. <laughs> <laughs> Trey Wingo. <laughs> e 
ESPN Sports Center is brought to you locally by Fantastic Sam's, where you can get a convenient haircut seven days a week with no appointment necessary. Fantastic Sam's, gotta be the hair. Hands on OLN's Fish Like the Pros with OLN's top cast of angling experts. From the best of Bill Dance and Fisherman Without Lender and the best of Larry Nixon to OLN's exclusive originals, Days of a Sportsman and Sportsman's Journal. Set aside weekends for fishing on OLN. Just in case you thought all boat shows were alike, they're not. The 46th Annual Southern California Boat Show at the Los Angeles Convention Center presented by Ford is something really special. It's boating's most anticipated kickoff event of the year. Nearly 1,000 new boats all under one roof plus an incredible assortment of marine accessories. And if you need proof that Southern California is the capital of high-performance boating, just check out this lineup of go-fast machines you won't see anywhere else. The Southern California Boat Show, March 2nd through the 10th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. The season starts here. We need to talk. Really? I don't think we should see each other anymore. Well, is it Mr. Frisky? No, I love your cat. It's the rash, isn't it? Listen, the doctor said it's just temporary. No. It's your website. I need more content than that. Hey! Our customers expect a lot from a website. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for auto insurance and the rates for up to three leading competitors. And that could save you hundreds. We want you to save money, even if it's not with us. At Progressive.com, you can get a quote, buy a policy instantly, even check on the status of a claim. Our website is so fast and easy to use, it's been rated number one four times in a row. She says I need more content. Yeah, yeah that's I about right, that. yeah. Yeah. You can start saving now. Call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE or visit Progressive.com today. Welcome back to the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race on a foggy, cool morning here in Southern California. Queen Mary serving as the beautiful and elegant backdrop here. It's the crowd, well, the crowd always comes out for this annual water ski race here. 53 years strong as we come back to race action. And there's your leaders up front, paced by Stephen Robertson, Sydney, Australia. Then back in second place, chasing him, Todd Haig, Beaumont, California. And as we break away from the action here momentarily to compete like these teams in the world's greatest ski race takes top equipment. And with more on the edge you need, here's Lou Lyle with this edition of the competition offshore in the cockpit, presented by Lyle Turbosonics Incorporated. Hi, I'm Lou Lyle, president of Lyle Turbosonics. Today we're going to talk about our Turbosonic performance cap. A few years ago, we identified a need for a cap that would work on the hydraulic pump reservoirs that would preclude hydraulic fluid from leaking out. These pumps are typically used on drive trim, K-plane trims, electric seat bolster actuators, and engine hatch lifts. Through the years, these things have leaked uh, due to the current design. Utilizing our state-of-the-art 3D CAD software, we were able to design a three-part cap that precludes this from happening. During the development process, we use a process called stereolithography, where we can actually produce a part such as this one here, made from a laser beam. This tangible part was then tested for about six months in our 382 race boat to ensure that the design was solid. Once that was complete, we built some injection mold tooling and are able to produce the parts in high volume production now. Out of the mold, we get a cap and an internal baffle. These are then snapped together, the O-ring installed, and this device then is able to be screwed onto the reservoirs and it precludes the fluid from coming out. We have various sizes available and colors for the different engine combinations to match. We have a chrome blue, red, chrome, purple, standard mercury blue, and we have some red ones also. Again, it's a great way to preclude hydraulic leaks into your pump, and it's a great stocking stuffer for the year also. For other products and product development services, such as our innovative clamp-on offshore ski tow, Visit us on the web at www.lyleturbosonics.com. And from that in the cockpit, Matt, we come back to the Catalina Water Ski Race. And up front, Stephen Robertson from Australia. He finished in second place right behind this team right here with driver Jack Lynch, the 39-foot fountain. Todd Haig on the back of this ski rope here. They're back in second place. And Alex Ross, he's serving as the observer right now, kind of the eyes and ears and the go-between from what the driver's doing to what the water ski racer's doing. And you can see Alex Ross, thumbs up sign. So right now, a very comfortable pace for Todd Haig early on. Right now, they're almost in the middle of the 
front straightaway, which we call the straight all the way out to Catalina. They're very excited with what they're doing. It looks like they're pacing themselves. They're in a good position. Right now, they're just trying to figure out these water conditions. You can see they're getting a little bit rougher, and he's going to start getting a little bit more airborne here. And now back in third place, Marty Wells aboard a 38-foot Top Gun cigarette. And back up front here, there's your leader, Stephen Robertson, Sydney, Australia. As we said, heartbreak last year. Second place, still motioning to his observer. Very comfortable also with the pace being set here early on. And we asked Stephen about having that bullseye on the back, as he is the reigning world champion and one of the favorites out here to win the Catalina Water Ski Race. I love coming to the races knowing that I'm the man that everybody has to beat to, to win the race. And, uh, you know, it's, it's part of being the world champion, I guess. Uh, it's just another race now. Well, Robertson with the lead, still motioning for his team to go faster. Big guy out here, probably the biggest guy representing this men's open class. 6'1", 6'2", probably a good 230 pounds. More like an Australian rules football player or a rugby player. Really well put together. Then you have Todd Haig, Beaumont, California, only 21 years of age. One of the real up-and-comers that trademark neon orange wetsuit and he's built more like a string bean 6162 probably about 160 pounds but he has that good athletic build and he's having a great run out here second place early on Matt and then back in third place right behind him Marty Wells a two-time winner here in this Catalina water ski race a 38 foot top gun cigarette and we said Wells winning twice once back in 1990 in one hour one minute and nine seconds then back in 1992 in 55 minutes two seconds However, last year, not a great run for him. He actually fell and broke two ribs. Right now, Marty Wells in third place. His team's in a good sink early on. Trying to keep this boat online as best it can for Avalon. Right now, he's right behind the competition. He's trying to find out the best way around this course. Right now, Marty's just holding on, hoping for the conditions to get a little bit better and get up to the pack. There's a lot that goes on here. You got a lot of distraction. You got the exhaust from the boat. You got the white spray. You watch the skiers about every 10 seconds wipe that spray off their face. That just takes off the balance of the rope. They use that left hand to keep the balance on that ski, trying to absorb as much as they can. As you can see, they wipe a lot of water off there, so you can tell how much water and how much spray is coming from those boats. Well, that's Carl Goldsmith. He won this event back in 1999 in a time of 55 minutes and two seconds. A very great run for him back then. One of the all-time best finishes, too. So Goldsmith, as you can see, constantly wiping the spray off. And then there's boat number 569, Brett Dominguez. So Dominguez right in the thick of things as well. So early on, we're seeing a lot of the men's open teams heading to the front. We haven't seen the women's open teams yet, headed by Ashley Lake who won last year but right now Brett Dominguez back in fifth place well 62 miles round trip the first 31 miles out to Catalina Island then the return trip and there's your leaders up front Steven Robertson now extending his lead over Todd Haig as you're watching the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina water ski race right here on Speed Vision you know Dick Simon on land yeah tire temperatures say it's pretty close now get to know Dick Simon by sea Dick Simon Marine, Dana Point. Sale, service, and storage. When you're ready to play with the big boys. I'm gonna be late for my own wedding. No worries. My new Subaru Outback's more stable in a turn than a Lexus RX 300. Gets better gas mileage than a Ford Explorer. And like every Subaru, has the added traction of all-wheel drive. Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. Ah, the rugged outdoorsy type. Nice choice. Now you can get an APR as low as 2.9% on all 2002 Outback models. The rumble of a big V-twin makes your blood race. You grew up on the pegs of a dirt bike. You can smell a carb running rich from a mile away. to find out how you can become one of the best technicians in the world. Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Come on in to Speed Vision's Dream Car Garage, where we take a project car, tear it down to bare metal, and rebuild a faster, more powerful vehicle of speed. That's Dream Car Garage every Wednesday night at 8.30 Eastern.
Welcome back as Dick Simon Marine presents coverage of the 53rd running of the Catalina Ski Race. While both the fans on the water and the fans on shore are eagerly awaiting the teams to reach Catalina Island, which will be the halfway point of this race, as the sun has finally begun to break through, burning off some of the early morning fog that has hampered us so far. And of course, the Catalina Ski Race wouldn't happen without a massive staff of volunteers and sponsorship support. And now returning for their third year of involvement, Dick Simon Marine is proud to be title sponsor of this prestigious event. Well, here we are going into the third year of the Catalina Ski Race, and we're very proud for Dick Simon Marine to be sponsoring this and have the opportunity to share with so many countries coming here and representing themselves with their skiers. And the fact that, in my opinion, the Long Beach Catalina Ski Race is one of the finest events that is held in all of the West Coast. And to be associated with it from our company's standpoint uh, and also individually, I think it's great. And the event co-sponsor, the Southern California Marine Association, is joining together with Dick Simon Marine for the first time in the showcase of high performance. Yeah, the Catalina Ski Race is uh, a cornerstone of the uh, boating market in Southern California. In fact, uh, many of our members and uh, owners of boats uh, participate in this annual event event uh, and enjoy it very much. It, uh, it's a great time and uh, it's very, very important that people get an opportunity to use their boat in, uh, in the race. And for the first time in the event's history, prize money will actually be paid out to the top finishers, something that the Sonans Company is proud to be a part of. I'm a, I'm a race fan from my childhood, and to be involved in something, especially the start of this race, I don't think I can say I've seen much like it. 120 boats, and I, I uh, had the opportunity to be out on one of the start boats to have 120 boats coming straight at you at, you know, speeds, I would say, approaching 100 miles an hour and 10 or 15 helicopters overhead. Unbelievable. I just hope we can recapture that experience for people in their home theaters uh, in the fall when they see it. Well, back now to action from the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. And up front, Stephen Robertson. And the condition's getting a little bit better out here. The fog is lifting. The sun is finally starting to peek through in this endurance race here. So Robertson, the leader. Haig still back in second place with Marty Wells still back in third. They're your top three. And the amount of training these guys do, just amazing, Matt. They're almost like triathletes here as Todd Haig is back in second place. The amount of stretching, the amount of cardiovascular work they do during the offseason, as well during the racing is just incredible. These are finely tuned athletes out here on the race course this afternoon. We actually had a chance to talk to some of these racers during this week, and we find out these guys are out there every other day, sometimes five days a week out there training, one to three hours a day, just continue to ski, ski, ski. That's only the way they can get better. Well, Marty Wells remains back in third place, so Haig just ahead of him by about three seconds in second place. And right now, Steven Robertson just running away with this one. He's the leader. And then back in fourth place, there's Lee Squire, 47 years of age, actually a train conductor for Pacific Union and a local boy. He's happy to brag about that from Long Beach, California. And then in behind him is Carl Goldsmith, who's back in fifth place. He won the men's open and the overall title back in 1999. He also holds the Formula One record at one hour, five minutes, 11 seconds set back in 1997. So you're looking at a veteran skier right here and Carl Goldsmith, a great jump out here and a very nice technique as Brett Dominguez is back at sixth place, slipping one notch. As you look at a lot of these skiers, they all have different form. You can see these boats getting a little airborne. That's something these skiers don't like because they act like a slingshot. Those boats come out of the water. They have to back down those throttles. That whips the skier from the back. It completely changes the speed back there, and these skiers really have to hold on. Well, talking about powerboat racers, here's one of the best teams right here as Misha Robin from Antwerp, Belgium. He's on the end of the ski line here, and that's Nilo Bertels. That's his observer right there. And Nilo, very happy with Misha's technique right now. Misha right now back in seventh place in the men's open class, and this team headed by Craig Ferguson, a two-time world champion out of the Pacific Offshore Division here along the West Coast in the former modified class. So a good throttle man, a good driver, and Misha Robin having a great run here back in seventh place. Here's Darren Cartledge. He's all the way back in eighth place right now. Peter Bertels, his observer, who skied in this race last year. And now to your women's open leader. We've been waiting for her. Ashley Lathrop, 17 years of age from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Ashley won the women's open last year in a time of one hour, 17 seconds, just obliviated the field last year in Lathrop having a great run actually the leader once again out here going for three wins in a row the only female to have won back to back in two different divisions so Lathrop who has trained with Lori Dunsmore for years on technique and Ashley actually hoping the conditions will be in her favor to set a new record out here. 
I'm hoping for smooth, but I mean, if it's rough, it's rough. I'd like to see it smooth just because I'd like to break a record and see how close I could get with the boys. So Lathrop, your leader in the women's open class. And here's your second place boat, boat number 136, Tracy Graciano, also from Australia. She also happens to be Stephen Robertson's girlfriend. And these Aussies, they come out here with a contingency that's very strong and they expect to do very well out here as well, Matt. A lot of competition in the women's open class out here, and you can see they're trying to pace themselves as best they can to watch the competition in front, which is the men's open, to kind of navigate their way through this course. And a quick look there at Debbie Norblad, 47 years of age and a record holder in this class. She also won back in 1996, and still plenty more to come as you're watching the 53rd annual Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race right here on Speed Vision. Two weeks in the mountains, wow. No TV, no internet, no phone. Start your holiday off right. We're on the 25th anniversary of the Ocean Spray Dana Point Turkey Trot on Thanksgiving morning, November 23rd. Enjoy the beautiful Dana Point Harbor scenery while raising money for the Kinship Center, a non-profit Orange County foster and adoption agency. Come be part of California's largest Thanksgiving Day race. For information, call 949-496-1555 or log on to turkeytrot.com. Speed Vision is the fact that they cover a whole spectrum of racing. I can see uh, people racing sedans in Australia. I can see people racing motorcycles in Europe. I can see people racing Formula One boats, IndyCar racing, Formula One, NASCAR, the GT Series, the endurance cars, the Le Mans race. It just goes on and on and on and on. Speed Vision is, uh, is a great way for me to unwind and uh, check out what's going on in the racing world. Just in case you thought all boat shows were alike, they're not. The 46th Annual Southern California Boat Show at the Los Angeles Convention Center presented by Ford is something really special. It's boating's most anticipated kickoff event of the year. Nearly 1,000 new boats all under one roof plus an incredible assortment of marine accessories. And if you need proof that Southern California is the capital of high-performance boating, just check out this lineup of go-fast machines you won't see anywhere else. The Southern California Boat Show, March 2nd through the 10th at the Los Angeles Convention Center. The season starts here. Before you hit the trail, check out the hottest accessory of the year, ATVNews.com. It's brought to you by the editors of ATV Magazine and ATV Sport, and it's loaded with all the latest news and information from the world of ATVs. You'll find the latest breaking news, new product reviews, racing updates, travel ideas, as well as feature articles. So, before you hit the trail, log on to ATVNews.com. Welcome back to the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race as we're in Long Beach, California. It's a 62-mile journey out to Catalina Island and back here to Long Beach Harbor where all the fans are anxiously waiting for any word of what's going on right now. Fire Department also out here taking a little break as they're watching the Catalina Water Ski Race, waiting for the leaders to come back to Long Beach Harbor and make the finish just inside the West Coast Long Beach Hotel as we come back to race action here. And now the leaders are getting up there. There. The first leg almost in the books here, Matt. The first 31 miles, we should say, as everybody's heading now towards Avalon Harbor outside of Catalina Island. Well, right now, the first boat through the turns, that's boat 55, Stephen Robertson, Sydney, Australia. He finished up as the bridesmaid last year, second place behind Todd Haig. And Todd Haig now making the turn behind him. So Jack Lynch and his 39-foot fountain in second place. We'll see if they can gear it up a notch. So the Australian leads it. The American, Todd Haig from Beaumont, California in second place as they pass through the turn so halfway through the race and every racer will tell you this is when the race really starts the last 31 miles back home plus the water conditions are changing before they're running with the swells now they're running against the swells so that completely changed the conditions out here so now we're going to really find out who the, the endurance racers are can they keep up with the competition or can they pass the competition because things do change in the middle of the race and towards the end of the race well right now back in third place that's carl goldsmith who won the event back in 1999 marty wells 
Charles also making the turn. And here comes Misha Robin from Antwerp, Belgium. Craig Ferguson on the throttles and driving that 39-foot fountain. And Ferguson from Huntington Harbor, California, so almost a hometown race. And there's one of our speed vision camera angles right there in the turn, so providing pictures not only in the air but also in the turn here in Avalon Harbor. As one of the boats here, this one with Lee Squire, so Squire heading through the turns here. He had been third early on, so Squire, 47 years of age, a prior winner out here in the men's open class, one of the great competitors. He's from Long Beach, California, making the turn at the island here. So Squires, he's back in sixth place, and now a battle for seventh place between Jamie Graciano, the brother of Tracy Graciano, also hailing from Sydney, Australia, and also Brett Dominguez. These two dicing it up for seventh place as they angle through the turns here around Avalon Harbor. The shot before this one, you know, it was a good shot to show you how important it is to stay on course. You saw these boats coming into the turn, you see boats coming out of the turn. This is where these teams really got to pay attention. They really need to know where they're on the course because the water conditions out here might be possible for one of these skiers to break a record. And especially the water conditions at the turn right here, very treacherous, very lumpy out here, so that the skiers have to take extra precaution heading through the turns. And now we have a whole fleet of boats headed by Darren Cartledge here. He's coming down the straightaway. Also, Graham Cole in there. Ashley Lathrop probably in here as well. She'll be the first through the turns for the women's open class. But right now, as we said, the race really taking shape here. The first 31 miles for all the top teams in the books. Now only 31 miles to go as they'll make that turn here at Avalon Harbor. Head all the way back to the Long Beach Harbor where they'll wrap it up. The best teams will do it in less than an hour. And there's the 73 boat, Darren Cartledge, being pulled on the back of this entry. So Cartledge now through the turns. He's in ninth place here, and he's a couple of minutes back on the leaders in Steven Robertson and also Todd Haig. Well, Graham Cole, Phil Kramer also coming through the turns here. We're waiting for Ashley Lathrop. She had been leading the women's open ever since it started with Tracy Graciano back in second and Debbie Norblad back in third place. Hard to tell right now with the angle here, but a lot of boats through the turns. So all the top runners right now heading through the turns. And here's a look at Tracy Graciano from Sydney, Australia. We saw her brother, Jamie Graciano, make the turn just a moment ago back in seventh place. So Tracy only a couple of minutes behind her brother and right now second place in the women's open class. Of course, we didn't see Ashley Lathrop make the turn yet. She's really moving around these corners right here. And I think she's got a good pace going. She's actually taking the inside of the wake rather than seeing these other skiers on the outside of the wake. They get whipped around these turns. They've got to really hold on. She's got a really good pace going. I think we're going to see her at the front of the pack. Well, Tracy Graciano finished in just over an hour last year. A very good run. And now back in third place in the women's open division. 47-year-old Debbie Norblad actually racing with two of her daughters out here this afternoon. They're racing in different divisions. But Debbie Norblad, the women's record holder, at 59 minutes, 8 seconds, she won the 1996 Catalina division for the women's open class. So Norblad in search of Graciano and also Ashley Lathrop as she's back in third place. And still plenty more to come as you're watching the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina water ski race right here on Speed Vision. A top-heavy van can be difficult to handle. Bottoming out can do damage to your truck. Standard rear suspension systems won't solve these problems. The solution? An active suspension. Roadmaster Active Suspension. Unlike other systems, this kit gives you a smooth ride with or without a load, instantly delivering the major muscle you need. Here's how it works. By holding your rear leaf springs in their original bowed position, this system will absorb the load rather than resisting it. In this test, both trucks have a 2,400-pound load. Notice the truck on the right with the Roadmaster Active Suspension handles the load with ease, while the truck on the left seems to be out of control. Installation is easy. It only takes about an hour. Over a million satisfied customers can't be wrong. Roadmaster Active Suspension has a money-back guarantee and limited warranty. For your free video, pick up the phone and call now. Roadmaster Active Suspension, the active suspension solution. Call now. If you're looking for a great deal on a computer, now's the time to call Gateway. Because now you can get the Gateway 300S loaded with Microsoft Windows XP, an Intel Celeron processor, a 15-inch flat-screen monitor, GCS speakers, a 20-gigabyte hard drive, and a free CD burner, all for just $9.99. This special offer is good for a limited time, so give Gateway a call today.
Welcome back to the 53rd running of the Catalina Ski Race presented by Dick Simon Marine. Well, the top teams are past the halfway point of this contest and on their return leg home on what has turned out to be a magnificent day in Catalina Island. If you haven't visited it, it's one of the truly great tourist destinations here in Southern California. And before we head back to race action, let's meet one of the lifelong competitors who isn't in the driver's seat this year. Nonetheless, his palms will be sweating all the same. And for more on legendary Dick Simon, here's this edition of the Competition Offshore Racer Profile, presented by the Southern California Marine Association. Dick Simon's love affair with the water began when most youngsters are thinking more about summer league baseball. Well, actually, I began my days of racing way back in the days when uh, I was about 12 years old, and I bought my first uh, powerboat. It was a 13-foot hydroplane with a flathead V860 in it. And I remember tossing people off the deck in the front because uh, everybody wanted to ride with me. And I got to the point where I put handles on the front and so they wouldn't fall off. And that boat would do almost 90 miles an hour. And the love affair would continue on well into his adulthood when after owning several slower boats, Dick Simon would purchase his first go-fast powerboats, which in turn led to a booming performance powerboat business. So my wife says, why don't you buy one of those fast boats? If you want to go over to Catalina, you can get over there in 30 minutes and get back and we bought a fountain and since then uh, the fountain ended up with in less than 30 days I was talking to Reggie Fountain about uh, starting a, a business in Dana Point area and now with Dick Simon Marine a Southern California leader in performance boating it's been a natural fit to be involved with the Catalina ski race well, it's been quite a thrill particularly when you talk about the people that uh, are involved as an example most of the people in the Catalina ski race are donating their time almost everybody when you work with someone like Rick Lemon and these people that work along with him, um, it's, it's a lot of fun because their hearts, their souls are, are into it, not for the money. They're into it for the competition. They're into it for the enjoyment of uh, associating in a highly competitive event. And while he has competed in years past, Dick chose to sit out this year for a rather unique reason. Last year, we had Stephen Gregoire and I had the pleasure of driving the boat. But this year, we had so many of our people wanting to put boats into this race. I felt it was more important from the standpoint of like Roy Garrett, our national sales manager, wanted to have one of our boats in the race. Tim Horgan, our service and parts manager, and I could go on and on. We had a total of seven boats out of Dick Simon Marine. We had seven boats of our customers. So out of the over a hundred and some boats, 14 of them came from our organization, which made me very proud. And with more than 50 years of motorsports competition behind him, including numerous Indy 500 stars, Dick Simon, while proudly sitting this year's race out, still feels his hands get sweaty and his heart race, just like if he were competing for the very first time. My hands were sweating this year a little bit, but not quite the same as if you are behind the wheel yourself or behind the throttles or, uh, as a skier uh, behind the boat. I'm sure that that first few seconds the skiers are hanging onto the rope, waiting for the gun to go off, has to be the most tense moment for them in their lives. And as a throttle man would step on the year before, my hand was shaking on the throttles, absolutely shaking because we were just getting ready to go. This year, I wasn't actually physically participating, but so nervous about making sure that it went off okay that yes, I did have perspiration, whether I was driving or throttling or just hoping everything went well. And from that racer profile and that visit with Dick Simon, we come back to race action and many of the teams, Matt, just getting to the halfway point of their race, so 31 miles in the books for many of these teams. 31 miles to go on Steven Robertson as we give you a little update. He still leads it in the men's open class. It's tough to tell who leads it in the women's open class. We didn't see Ashley Lathrop go through the turns, so we don't know what that means. But we saw Tracy Graciano and Debbie Norblad head through the turns as Mike Conway, he's aboard boat number 113, intermediate men's class at 35-foot Nortec. He's making the turn right now. He's from Santa Rosa, California, 11th year of racing. And in behind him, the stock day cruiser class here, Brent Griffin, he's the skier, Johnny Kaiser, the observer, Denny Valdez, he's the navigator. So you can see some of the action taking place here aboard this stock day cruiser class as the observer 
Johnny Kaiser instructing a skier, Brent Griffin, and they're pumped up here as they get set to head through the turns. You can see the navigator of this boat team. He's really trying to watch where the other race teams are on this course at all times. You saw the air horn in his hand. He's concerned about oncoming traffic. He's also concerned about the turn and where the outside boats are. And here's our three-time double-up champs. This year racing in the over and back class. That's boat 857, the Beeper City team. Last year, they finished 30th overall in one hour, 11 minutes, 43 seconds. Jason Tingley, he's skiing the first leg of this event. He's from Shingle Springs, California. You can see him coming off plane now. He'll go on the water. They'll actually switch skiers here as David Quintana. He'll run the second leg of this race here from San Leandro, California. So now the boat will circle back, pick up this skier, drop the other skier in the water. And that's how it is in the over and back class here, Matt. This is a great class to get involved with. And if you ever want to start water skiing, this is there and back, what they call it. You only have half the distance. There's a lot of training that goes involved because the conditions from each way of the course completely change. Well, we wish that team the best of luck right now. They lead it right now, actually, in the over and back class, going for another victory. So Quintana and Tangley have teamed up very nicely over the years. And here's the Loco Gringo team, a 37-foot scarab. John Barbie, he's from Upland, California. Scott Kennedy, along with Carl Johnson and skier Patricia Spencer aboard. This is a race that so many things can happen. Um, boats and the navigator, um, the communication between the skier and the observer. And it's also the race that we all have the opportunity to leave at the same time. Well, skier Patricia Spencer in her sixth year of running here. And then behind them is the B6 team, skier Cheryl Rustin, driver Dave Rankin, the observer Ted Hoffman, navigator Chris Walker, also representing the senior women's class in this class for ages 25 to 35, any boat, any configuration, any engine size. And Matt, we've actually had a skier go down here representing the stock day cruiser class and not a part of the race course you want to go down. Right here in the turn at Avalon Harbor, that's skier Scott Bergstrom from the stock day cruiser class. Well, right now, Scott Bergstrom down in the water, so his team's circling back to pick him up. Let's hope they can do so as you're watching the 53rd annual Catalina Water Ski Race presented by Dick Simon Marine right here on Speed Vision. Demand it. Quality, craftsmanship, construction, and performance. Excellent style, detailing, and inspired design. It can be yours. Reach out. Seize it. Ride Formula's rush of power into the future. Formula. Before you hit the water, check out the hottest accessory of the year, watercraftnews.com. It's brought to you by the editors of PwC Magazine at Watercraft World, and it's loaded with all the latest news and information from the world of watercraft. You'll find the latest breaking news, new product reviews, racing updates, travel ideas, as well as feature articles. So, before you hit the water, log on to watercraftnews.com. With NASCAR on Speed Vision, you don't just get inside of their cars, you get inside their heads. Lock on a NASCAR on Speed Vision, and you won't get left behind. Get NASCAR news and highlights straight from the track on Totally NASCAR, every weeknight at 6.30 Eastern. Welcome back to the 53rd Annual Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. Well, we're past the halfway point of this marathon-style event. Came out here, race was delayed more than three hours. Some heavy fog cover here this afternoon, but as you can see now, sunny skies and the crowd waiting in anticipation for all the skiers to come back, and they should be doing so very shortly. But we come back and skier Scott Bergstrom, we left off with him before we went to commercial break. Still in the water. And we could say some highlights, but we'll really call them lowlights here of Scott Bergstrom trying to get up on plane, motioning for his team, try to get him back in this race. But for Bergstrom, nothing but frustration here in front of the turn boat here at Avalon Harbor. Just getting dragged all around the race course here in the turn, Matt. This race course is really taking a toll on that ski. As you can see, he's really fighting trying to get back up on plane with that ski. That ski is very long and very thick, so it takes a while to get back under. And we had another incident here in the turns. Look at this guy. The old-fashioned ski is actually on the end of a tow rope there. And this is skier Bob Mayer and watch him do a head over heel somersault here. Mayer caught up in that rough water. He goes end over end.
and he endos in the water there in the turn. So Mayer knocked out also in a very precarious situation. Well, Bob Mayer, he would get back up and continue on for the rest of the race with John Doherty and Tim Dubious. We come back to race action here, and that's Bob Grande, the expert men's. He's in second place right now behind Dale Hanger, driver Mike Dominguez, Gary Sawyer serving as the observer with navigator Tom Swan. Right now in second place, both 338 behind Dale Hanger. So Bob Grande, veteran skier. He's raced here in Catalina before, having a nice smooth run as he heads back to Long Beach Harbor. Find a nice sweet spot behind this boat, Ian. He's actually, if you look on his back, he's got a water pack to keep him hydrated here. This is a race. You do get very dehydrated, especially with all that salt water coming in your face. So he's got to keep himself hydrated. His observer doing a very good job. His navigator trying to watch the course. Now it's just a drag race to finish the race. Well, Bob Grande being pulled on the back of that entry there. Mike Dominguez, we said the driver. These two have been longtime teammates. So Grande, the final 31 miles home and off in the distance. That's boat number 412 representing the mixed doubles class. Lone entry in this class out here and actually has the distinction of having the youngest female driver out there, April Leonard, just 19 years of age, actually on the steering wheel here for this mixed doubles class. Well, right now, the mixed doubles team, the 412 entry, the lone entry in this class with April Leonard. She's on the steering wheel, and we asked April how she got her start in the sport. Well, I started water ski racing five years ago. Um, a man named Glenn Kilroy, who's a veteran Catalina water ski racer, moved into my neighborhood, and he got me into water ski racing. And then my dad became a race boat driver, and he let me start driving his boats about three years ago, and I've just been training ever since. And then this year he decided that he wanted me to drive for him in the Catalina race. So I agreed. Well, April Leonard doing a terrific job out here as they're getting set to make the turn at Avalon Harbor. Lone entry, as we said, the mixed doubles class. Obviously, they lead it. And her father, Marty Leonard, on the back of the ski rope, along with Julie Kennedy. Then the observer, Steve Elliott, navigator Rich Harz. So they lead it right now in mixed doubles. Oh, and here's F-242. This boat with William Babin. He's the skier. Kimberly Hammond, Eric Hammond, a husband-wife team, along with... Bobby Deaton right now, representing Dick Simon Marine, and you can see William Babin, thumbs up sign, asking for the team to go a little bit faster, representing the senior men's class, 25 to 35, that's the age group here for this class here, Matt. It's exciting to see, this is actually the race, but I started my rookie year, and this is a 33-foot uh, fountain, uh, the old Sea of Express, been through a lot, had a lot of world championships, raced with uh, Kim and Eric, great team to be with, it's glad to see them still together, obviously you can see the skier very excited behind the boat he's skiing. Well, as you said, William Babin, real pumped up, making the return trek back to Long Beach Harbor, the final 31 miles as he's closing in on finishing this one up as you're watching the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race right here on Speed Vision. about the internet in your home? You will with Cox High Speed Internet. Sign up when you buy a gateway PC with an Intel Pentium 4 processor. Visit your gateway country store today. It pays to have an aggressive attorney on your side. I finally got back to work. I didn't have time to spend hours on the phone fighting with insurance companies. Getting an attorney really made the difference. I didn't want just someone to fight for me. I wanted someone who could win. Some lawyers talk. Some lawyers fight. Which one do you want? I'm Larry H. Parker. Call me at 1-800-333-0000. Fighting for you is my job. Larry H. Parker got me. You know the story. For a rally ride where you'll be spun out, rolled over, strapped up, and covered in dirt. Join Speed Vision for the greatest world rally events from around the globe. Catch the Rally of Australia next Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Store up on great holiday gifts at Pep Boys. Buy a new stereo or speakers from Sony Explode or Pioneer, a mobile video entertainment system, or a hands free wireless kit. Get your holiday gifts now at Pep Boys. Welcome back to the 53rd annual Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race. Well, we started out with foggy skies. Visibility was down to next to nothing. Race was delayed for some three hours, but now sunny skies have greeted us. And all the fans here in front of the West Coast Long Beach Hotel, this is the moment they have been waiting for. As some of the teams now making the turn, this should be interesting. Steven Robertson has led wire to wire here, but we're getting word that he's actually been passed up outside of the Queen Mary somewhere. So we'll see who will emerge first here. 
And it looks like boat 740 Todd Haig, Beaumont, California, just 21 years of age. So apparently something has happened out here, Matt. And Haig here apparently passing Stephen Robertson with less than two miles to go. And he's going to be the first one to cross the finish line. So Todd Haig, an official time of 53.03.59. And there's Stephen Robertson. So disappointment definitely for this team. Robertson will cross the finish line 10 seconds back in 53.13.81. And now a drag race for third place place here between Misha Robin and also Marty Wells and it looks like you have to give the advantage to the boat to the inside headed by Craig Ferguson. And definitely a big drag race. This is the kind of water condition that Craig likes. You can see an absolutely great fight. Actually we just saw something happen to Ferguson's boat. It looks like possibly a transmission when the prop stops like that. It pushes up all that kind of water and it looks like Marty Wells is going to overtake here and a very disappointing team with Craig Ferguson and the Renegade crew. Well Wells capitalizing there. He'll finish up in third place at 55 25 91 and I I guess the big question now, will Craig Ferguson and Misha Robin have enough to get past the finish line? And it looks like Misha Robin now in the water. So officially, this will not count. The skier has to cross the finish line on plane. So Misha Robin right now in the water. And you can only imagine what's going through his mind right now. We saw this happen a couple years ago to Todd Haig. And it's very frustrating. You travel all the way out here from Belgium. You compete. You're fighting for third place. And at the very last moment, literally a couple feet away from the finish line, the boat conks out at you, and I actually think the transmission went out on Craig's boat. And here's the flip side of it. From the agony of defeat, the thrill of victory, Todd Haig, 21 years of age, Beaumont, California. His team headed by Jack Lynch. Once again, piloting him to victory, and here's our first woman across the finish line, Tracy Graciano, Sydney, Australia. She comes around in one hour, four minutes, 15 seconds, then back in second place, as apparently Ashley Lathrop has crashed, so Lathrop knocked out, but coming around in second place, this will be Debbie Norton. Norblad. So Norblad, a longtime racer. She actually finished up third place last year. 47 years of age. She's going to come around, finish up in second. So she continues to get better with age. And Debbie's time after she goes over the finish line is one hour, nine minutes, and 29 seconds. So after that great victory, Ian, there's a look at the victory dock. Todd Haig and his crew, the men's open champ down there. So let's hear what he had to say. Todd, you came in here. You were trailing Steve. What happened there at the breakwater that you overtook him? I'm not really sure. We just kind of, he kind of slowed down and we just kind of stayed the same pace and got up next to him and oh, raced for a ways and got around him. It was pretty good. I'm sorry, what does this mean to you to capture this back-to-back year? Oh, it's awesome. This is, I was hoping to be my third. First year we broke halfway back, but this two is good. This is awesome. I don't even, I'm speechless. Nothing to say. So Hig surprised somewhat by his victory, second consecutive as Robertson faltered at the end. And now let's go back down where Ian has the women's open winner. We didn't know we had won until we got back here pretty much. So I, was, I, I sort of had a stop and then Ashley had a stop and we just didn't know where anyone was. So we're all a bit lost, but it's, it's awesome. Waiting for this a long time. <laughs> This has to go up there uh, in terms of all your accomplishments in your racing career. Where does this go up there? This is it. This is the one. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this, I suppose. And as we see all the fans still watching teams finish, the real heartbreaker was Misha Robin unable to finish, and Ian's with Craig Ferguson, whose boat broke right at the finish line. I'm so proud of these guys. It was Misha Robin from Belgium. And the observer was Nico Bertels, also from Belgium. Awesome guys. I am just sick. Uh, uh, they skied an awesome race. We paced ourselves. We thought we had it made. And uh, right at the drag race to the finish, uh, we pitched a drive shaft out of one engine and took out the transmission with it. And then it took out the other transmission along with that. The boat crossed the finish line. The skier didn't. And uh, unfortunately, the rules are that the skier has to cross the finish line standing up. So we didn't quite make it today. But uh, man, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll get them next time. And before we close out the 53rd running of the Catalina Water Ski Race, let's take a look now at all the final results.
charge of the 53rd running of the Catalina Ski Race has been made possible by Dick Simon Marine, by the Southern California Marine Association, by Formula Power Boats, by Outer Limits, by Fountain Power Boats, by Sonamp, and by Lyle Turbosonics. I will not be afraid of the dark. I will not feel guilty leaving my dog alone. I will feel better about my dad living by himself. I will know my children are safe. I will go on vacation and finally be able to relax! ADT helps more people feel safe in more ways than any other security company. Call 800-ADT-ASAP or an ADT authorized dealer and get ADT burglary protection installed for as little as $99. You could also save up to 20% off your basic homeowner's insurance. I will live my life. My life. My life. On my terms! Call now and get ADT installed from $99 plus up to 20% off homeowner's insurance. ADT. Always there. With NASCAR on Speed Vision, you don't just get inside of their cars, you get inside their heads. Lock on a NASCAR on Speed Vision and you won't get left behind. Relive the last laps and meet the winners on NASCAR Victory Lane, Mondays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Welcome back as Dick Simon Marine presents the 53rd running of the Catalina Ski Race. Well, with the teams receiving their trophies and their first ever prize checks presented by Sonance, it's time to take a look back at some of the best race action from the day in this edition of the Competition Offshore Action Rewind presented by Formula Power Boats. The Formula Power Boats Action Rewind honors would have to go to the 21-year-old Todd Haig. Haig competing in the men's open class would come into the Catalina Ski Race trying to defend his championship from a year ago. And after a slow start, Haig would pick up speed and settle into a groove. However, at the halfway point, it wasn't Haig who was leading, but reigning world champion Stephen Robertson of Australia. But as fate would have it, Robertson and his team would falter down the stretch, and Haig and his crew would capitalize and go on for the victory, giving the Beaumont, California native back-to-back -back men's opens championships, as that's your competition offshore, Action Rewind, presented by Formula Power Boats. Well, Matt, the 53rd running of the Dick Simon Marine Catalina Water Ski Race has come to a close and whenever you throw more than a hundred different teams out on the open ocean you expect some chaos but we really didn't see that here this afternoon other than Todd Haig defending his championship and that was kind of a surprise could have been a three-peat for him if you remember two years ago 200 yards behind the finish line his boat blew an engine so he could have been a three-peat so you know he's very very excited actually we thought this race is gonna be dominated by Steven Robertson who's leading the pack by 10 boat lengths but here comes Todd Haig wins the race overall by 10 seconds yeah agony of defeat really for Steven Robertson the reigning world champion a real hard luck loser then on the women's side ashley lathrop was leading for a good portion of this race of course she's won it the last two years last year in the women's open class but tough luck for her this open ocean can take a toll on these racers she was dominating this race course we thought this race was won by ashley a couple miles before the finish line she falls takes a nasty spill but then here comes tracy graciano who had a terrible start got caught behind a lot of boats actually lost her rep that's what they call it when they lose the rope and she actually won the race but she had no idea because the directors told her to go to victory dock and she was she was just amazed with that she won the race. Well, a little bit of everything out here this weekend. Some tough luck losers, and then also some great winners out here as more than 100 different race teams took the green flag. So all in all, a great water ski race here from Long Beach, California. So on behalf of Matt Grant, our entire competition offshore crew, I'm Ian Howard saying so long, and we'll see you next time on the water, which will be from the Water Ski World Championships from Lake Mead, Nevada, right here on Speed Vision. The following program is a paid advertisement paid for by Infomedia. Check your local rules and regulations regarding making money buying and selling cars. I made over $100 an hour just applying one principle. I saved $5,000 just for my first car. In the last three months, uh, I did probably well over $100,000 with the sale. Averaging roughly $50 an hour is almost a dream come true. If anybody needs to make extra money, this would be the way to do it. You make so much profit off this. It's, it's just unbelievable. 
I mean, there's nothing that compares to the Motor Millions kit. Hi, this is Dean Graziosi, the creator of Motor Millions, and I've been on TV now for over a year sharing my secrets. And there's been nothing more gratifying than hearing from people from all over the country, from all walks of life, who've done incredible using my secrets. And the one thing a lot of people have in common is they say, Dean, now that I got your system, I'm so glad because I'm making great money. But when I first saw you on TV, it seemed too good to be true. You know what? A lot of things that seem too good to be true usually are. And I can tell you, if you get Motor Millions and you stick it on your kitchen table and you never open it, it's not going to make you a million bucks. But if you can apply the simple techniques that I used, it can make you an absolute fortune, just like it did for me. Dean went from over $40,000 in debt, no college degree, and no money, to a millionaire. Using his expertise in making money with cars, Dean's laid out these same simple steps in the Motor Millions system for anyone to follow. Motor Millions gives you my unique system on how I generated a great deal of wealth starting with no money. But besides that, I give you the secrets of the trade, all of the secrets. Did you know that there's thousands of auctions all around the country selling cars at way below retail every single day? Well, I'm going to show you how to find those auctions, how to get into those auctions. There's government auctions, there's dealer auctions, there's public auctions. I'm going to show you how to make money in your own classifieds. But the best part about it is I'm going to teach you in simple step-by-step -step form how to buy with total confidence. I made more money in 12 hours with Motor Millions than I do with my own company working 50 or 60 hours a week without the headaches. I spoke on the telephone for 10 minutes and I made $400. I like that. That's the way I like to make money part-time. You can make money like that part-time too. It's very simple. All you have to do is follow the kit. What's the most exciting thing about Motor Millions to you too? The most exciting thing about Motor Millions the is profit. that the profit. Yeah. The $2,500 in my pocket, that quick, that simple, I mean, I just recommend it to everybody. You make so much profit off this, it's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, mm -hmm. there's nothing that compares to the Motor Marion's kit. Taylor, what did you think about it when you bought the kit? I was skeptical at first, because of we work hard for our money. I didn't think we would go, you know, he would do anything with this. And uh, after he sold the car, we made the money, I was very impressed. and. I was very proud of him. It was very easy. I liked it. Good. Can you see it helping your future out? Oh, definitely. Yes. Yes. It is our future. Listen, five years ago, I couldn't afford to drive cars like this. I didn't have a dollar to my name. I didn't have a college degree. I'm not a rocket scientist. What I've done is created a concept, a concept that I call Motor Millions. Motor Millions generates wealth. And I've put it in simple step-by-step -step form to share with everybody. You can drop me anywhere in the United States. And I believe and I know that with Motor Millions, I can acquire wealth. There is over $1 billion spent every week on used cars. $1 billion. And Motor Millions tells you how to tap into this ready-made market. Let me tell you how it works. Motor Millions teaches you how to buy cars at such incredible discounts that you can mark them up two, three, five, ten thousand dollars in some cases. And that's your money, that's your profit, and still be able to sell the cars below retail price. Paula, how long have you had the Motor Millions kit? I've only had it for 30 days. I've sold two cars. What did you do first? The first thing I did, I got the kit, I read it, I followed the instructions, and I went out, and this was the first car. You profited $750. I see you wrote two hours. You made $750 in two hours. That's what, that's the time I put into it. Then after I sold this, I bought this. What do you plan on doing with the money? I'm going on vacation this month. If anybody needs to make extra money, this would be the way to do it. Andy, what did you think of the package when you first got it? When I bought this kit, I didn't have, I didn't think I had enough money to cover it in my account, but I was desperate. It was through desperation that I bought this kit and took action and I'm making over $100 an hour today. What else has Motor Millions helped you with besides making money? Well, it's helped me with time, that working smarter as opposed to working harder. I not only have time for the kids' baseball games, but when I'm there, when they're home on Saturday mornings, I have the energy to wrestle with them again. I can go outside and play basketball with them and throw the ball around. I got my five-year-old. I'm getting ready to take his training wheels off. You know, I'm excited about that stuff. I have time for that today. A lot of people, they don't have time. Stop living paycheck to paycheck. Start making $400, $500 or more an hour with Motor Millions. Use Dean's proven money-making secrets, a unique step-by-step -step program that teaches anyone how to make big profits from a billion-dollar-a-week industry with a product everyone needs, cars.
Look at the incredible success and money people just like you are making with Motor Millions. Now, get cars for pennies on the dollar, drive them yourself, or turn them into big profits just like Dean. Get started with absolutely no money. With no money, no problem, Dean shows you the secrets he used to make fast cash with no money. There's no risk, no money to borrow, and no loans to repay. Learn the proven steps that took Dean from this rundown garage to enjoying the good life, the life of a millionaire. In Easy Start, learn Dean's secret techniques to do your own thing and make full-time money with part-time effort the very same day you get the kit. Now you can turn cars to cash. Use Dean's proven techniques to get the best prices and maximum profit out of every car. Learn Dean's wholesale secrets and find out where anybody can get great cars at rock-bottom wholesale prices. Get Dean's biggest money-making secret yet with Motor Million's official national auction guide. Be shocked by the hundreds of auctions in every state where cars of all makes and models, even exotic and luxury cars, are selling for a fraction of the retail price. For the first time ever, you'll receive the dealer version of the NADA book, the official used car estimating guide. Know exactly what any car is worth. In the Car Pro video series, learn how you can identify odometer fraud, past collision damage, even costly engine problems, and much more in just minutes, even if you know nothing about cars. With these videos and Dean's checklist, people who knew nothing about cars now buy with total confidence. Recently, I created five new incredible ways you can make money over and over and over again without even selling one car. And once you get Motor Millions, you're going to learn all about it. Purchase separately, this package would cost you over $210. But by picking up the phone and ordering right now, you can receive the entire package for only one payment of $59.95. Plus, for a limited time only, you'll also receive Dean's Minimize Your Effort, Maximize Your Profit. Dean shows you how to make money while other people do the work for you. You'll also receive, as Dean's special gift, the next level. Do what Dean did. Turbocharge your profits and get on the road to becoming a millionaire. Plus, if you order in the next half hour, get your own insider's password to MotorMillions.com with free classified ads, free auctions, and even one-on-one -on -one money-making chats with Dean himself. These three gifts alone are valued at over $89. And now, for a limited time, they're yours to keep at no additional charge just for trying Motor Millions. I'm going to show you another way where I made money fast. With a proven ad that I've developed that I call Speed Cash. Speed Cash is a proven ad that I developed when I had no money. It's an ad that's made me money fast. It's an ad that I share with you in Motor Millions. This entire wealth building system, including all three bonuses and Speed Cash, is valued at over $300. Only by placing your order right now can you receive the entire package for one easy payment of only $59.95. I've taken all the risk out of it. You could take Motor Millions home for 30 days, and if you're not 100% satisfied, or you don't start making money immediately, send it back for a full refund. No questions asked. Don't make excuses. Start living the American dream today. When I'm planning a big event, I start with OCNow.com. OCNow.com makes it easy to find what I need in just a few clicks. I don't have time to waste, so whether I'm in Anaheim or Newport Beach, I turn to OCNow.com when I need to find it fast. So if I've got red flowers and I want yellow ones, I can find a nearby florist or find a great chef from one of Laguna's hottest new restaurants, even hire some extra waiters. It makes the difference between another event and a memory. Create a space. Blend color, texture, and taste. Put a splash here. The right touch over there. Decorating your home is finding the right look for your lifestyle. Interiors by Design is filled with smart advice and great ideas for putting it all together. Join host Chris Madden for Interiors by Design. Sponsored locally by Tompkins Flooring with two locations to serve you. Maybe you think you can't afford to buy a car like this, but how about if I tell you Motor Millions teaches you how to buy cars like this for pennies on the dollar? What would you expect to pay for this car? Twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000? How about if I tell you that I paid $3,900 for this car? I had to put some money into it, but I still made $5,000 on it, and I was able to drive it for six months. This car paid me $5,000 to drive it, and who wouldn't want to drive this? And when I sold this, I went to this. I bought a 911 Carrera convertible, which I, again, I drove this one for about four months and made about $4,000. You see, the principles in Motor Millions teaches you how to buy so low 
that you can mark it up and still make a ton of money on it. There's government auctions, private auctions, lending institutions, bank repossessions, even your own classifieds, where cars are selling at such drastically reduced prices. And I teach you how to find those deals and make money with them. And you don't have to use expensive cars like this. These are my play cars. You could do it with one, two, three, five hundred dollar cars and still make a great profit. And I'm going to show you that too. Today I brought some Motor Million students with me here to this public auto auction. And once you get Motor Million, you'll know where all these auctions are all over the country. They're looking around, picking out some cars, and they're going to be able to buy with confidence. This Volkswagen just sold for $3,300, probably about $2,000 below retail. See, that's the best thing about coming to an auction. Today here alone at this public auction, there's over 300 cars being sold. So you have a variety of makes, models, years, and prices. $5,600, it's retailing for $9,300. That car is worth around $12,000, it just sold for $9,000 to the public. That's a 1992 BMW 325. That sold for $7,900 today. There's a 1995 Ford Contour sold for $2,800. You see, with Motor Millions, I teach you how to buy these cars at such great discounts that you can turn around and sell them and put those profits in your pocket. And I'm going to show you how to make that spendable cash for yourself. Well, one day I bought a sports car at the auction. And before I even got a chance to clean the car up, somebody saw the car, maybe an offer. And I actually made $3,000 above what I paid for it. How long did it take you to make that $3,000? All on the same day. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Preston, what was the reason you picked up the phone and ordered Motor Millions? Originally, I bought your kit to save money. OK. And I saved $5,000. And that's unbelievable. You saved $5,000 just on one car? Just one car. Now I want to go ahead and, and uh, do it to make money from it. You know, if I could save $5,000, I figure I could put $5,000 in my pocket and just multiply it over and over and over. And do you think other people could do just what you did? They, I know they can. Like I said, I'm just a regular guy in the street. And all they had to do was just follow your program step by step. In the last three months, uh, I did probably well over $100,000 with the sales, which was, which was very, very good for me. And the, the nice thing about it is that I could put more time in and he make even more money. But sometimes I feel what's worth even more than the money is my freedom. Owning the house of my dreams, having financial freedom, is all due to the principles I've laid out in simple step-by-step -step forms in Motor Millions. Averaging roughly $50 an hour is almost a dream come true. Leon, how easy was it to follow the steps in Motor Millions and make yourself money? Since I've started buying and selling uh, pre-owned vehicles, I've made thousands of dollars. Uh, compared to my present employment and all the jobs I've ever had, this has definitely been easier. So how does it feel that you made over $50 an hour since you started? It feels real great, Dean. You've been making money with cars for years, even before Motor Millions. So what would you think when you got my kit? Uh, I was impressed. Um, I was a little dubious about what I would get in the mail. And when I saw it and read through it, uh, I was totally impressed. Tell me about the money you made recently using the secrets in my no money system. Uh, I applied the principles that are in Motor Millions uh, on, a, on a Corvette that somebody had that they uh, didn't have any room for anymore and uh, made $5,000 between uh, what the gentleman wanted for his car and what it eventually sold for. And I didn't use any of my own money. This is a part-time job that makes me a lot of money. Matter of fact, this fall, I'm planning on going to the Caribbean based on the money that I've saved from doing this. I couldn't afford to do these things before. I couldn't afford to take the time off. I love it. I love it. You see, I grew up in the automotive business. But five years ago, my family's business abruptly ended. And I was left $40,000 in debt. I had no money, no job. I hadn't gone to college. I was lost. I didn't know what to do. But one thing I knew. I knew used cars and the profit potential that they had. But what I didn't have was money. So out of necessity, I developed a system to start generating money immediately using cars. Compared to anything I've ever done in my life, I have never made that much money that quick. You don't have to advertise. You don't need overhead. You don't need anything. All you have to do is follow the simple principles in this kit, and you can start making money just that fast. I haven't done anything smarter than anyone else or better than anyone else or... or more clever than anyone else besides read the book and just follow the instructions. If somebody's sitting there watching their TV, just like I was just a few months ago, considering, you know, do I spend this money to buy this kit? It's about cars. I don't know the first thing about cars. Um, I can tell you that 
For me, I, I wasn't in the car business when I bought the kit. You know, I'm making over $100 an hour. And plus, worst case scenario, you got a 30-day money-back guarantee. How can you lose? Stop living paycheck to paycheck. Start making $400, $500 or more an hour with Motor Millions. Use Dean's proven money-making secrets, a unique step-by-step -step program that teaches anyone how to make big profits from a billion-dollar-a-week industry with a product everyone needs, cars. Look at the incredible success in money people just like you are making with Motor Millions. Now, get cars for pennies on the dollar, drive them yourself, or turn them into big profits just like Dean. Get started with absolutely no money. With no money, no problem, Dean shows you the secrets he used to make fast cash with no money. There's no risk, no money to borrow, and no loans to repay. Learn the proven steps that took Dean from this rundown garage to enjoying the good life, the life of a millionaire. In Easy Start, learn Dean's secret techniques to do your own thing and make full-time money with part-time effort the very same day you get the kit. Now you can turn cars to cash. Use Dean's proven techniques to get the best prices and maximum profit out of every car. Learn Dean's wholesale secrets and find out where anybody can get great cars at rock-bottom wholesale prices. Get Dean's biggest money-making secret yet with Motor Million's official national auction guide. Be shocked by the hundreds of auctions in every state where cars of all makes and models, even exotic and luxury cars, are selling for a fraction of the retail price. For the first time ever, you'll receive the dealer version of the NADA book, the official used car estimating guide. Know exactly what any car is worth. In the Car Pro video series, learn how you can identify odometer fraud, past collision damage, even costly engine problems, and much more in just minutes, even if you know nothing about cars. With these videos and Dean's checklist, people who knew nothing about cars now buy with total confidence. Recently, I created five new incredible ways you can make money over and over and over again without even selling one car. And once you get Motor Millions, you're going to learn all about it. Purchase separately, this package would cost you over $210. But by picking up the phone and ordering right now, you can receive the entire package for only one payment of $59.95. Plus, for a limited time only, you'll also receive Dean's Minimize Your Effort, Maximize Your Profit. Dean shows you how to make money while other people do the work for you. You'll also receive, as Dean's special gift, the next level. Do what Dean did. Turbocharge your profits and get on the road to becoming a millionaire. Plus, if you order in the next half hour, get your own insider's password to MotorMillions.com with free classified ads, free auctions, and even one-on-one -on -one money-making chats with Dean himself. These three gifts alone are valued at over $89. And now, for a limited time, they're yours to keep at no additional charge just for trying Motor Millions. I'm going to show you another way where I made money fast. For the proven ad that I've developed that I call Speed Cash. Speed Cash is a proven ad that I developed when I had no money. It's an ad that's made me money fast. It's an ad that I share with you in Motor Millions. This entire wealth building system, including all three bonuses and Speed Cash, is valued at over $300. Only by placing your order right now can you receive the entire package for one easy payment of only $59.95. I've taken all the risk out of it. You could take Motor Millions home for 30 days and if you're not 100% satisfied, or you don't start making money immediately, send it back for a full refund. No questions asked. Don't make excuses. Start living the American dream today. In an hour and a half, I made $1,000. I'm about to do it all over again using the same principles from the book. If anybody needs to make extra money, this would be the way to do it. Averaging roughly $50 an hour is almost a dream come true. I've worked on cars all my life. I never knew that you could make this much money this easy. And if I can make money, anyone can make money. The people you just saw and all the people you're going to see are real people. Real people with real success stories. They're not actors. They weren't paid to be here. They're just here to share their success. And the one thing that all of them have in common is a unique system that I developed that I call Motor Millions. Motor Millions is a way to generate a great deal of wealth, whether you know anything about cars or even if you have no money to start. When you got the package home and you went through it, what was the most exciting part? Your first book about the positive thinking. That, that helped you? That helped me. I got positive results. And the result was? $2,500 um, profit. Yeah. On your first car? On my first car. Yes. Was that exciting on your first car? That was very exciting. Compared to anything I've ever done in my life, I have never made that much money that quick. Yeah. Ever. How would you like to make an extra $500, $1,000, $2,000 a month of spendable cash? 
to pay credit card bills, to pay your mortgage, to take that dream vacation, to do whatever you want with the money. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that with something as simple as selling one car a month. There is nothing on the market like this. Kent, what advice would you give somebody who's just thinking about getting started with this? Start small. Uh, let the principles prove themselves to you. Uh, example, I bought a little Plymouth for $1,100, and I turned around within a week and sold it for twenty-two. I bought a Crown Victoria, put 130,000 miles on it, and made, um, made about $2,400 profit on the car uh, after I drove it for 130,000 miles. So besides making money with cars, you make your cars pay you to drive them. Most people buy a car, it depreciates, and then they go buy another one, and it depreciates, and they take a loss every time. We never take a loss. Why should we? And people, if they uh, get your kit and apply your principles, uh, they can stop the hemorrhage of depreciation from their budget. If that's all they do, they will. the return on investment is going to be enormous. I'm even going to show you with my secrets how to make spendable cash immediately, even if you have no money to start. I started out with no money. And from using the principles, I have been putting money in my pocket on a regular basis. So for the amount of effort that I've been putting in on a part-time basis, and for the amount of money that I'm getting in return, my part-time business is making almost as much money as my full-time job. Now that you have Motor Millions, do you wish you started doing this years ago? Yeah, now that I made um, over $100 an hour applying just one of these principles. Yeah, I wish I did this a long, long time ago. You really made over $100 an hour since starting to use Motor Millions? Yes, Dean, I did. I made over $100 an hour just applying one principle. I have the bill of sales that can prove it, and I have, I've been documenting the time simply because my wife was skeptical about me buying this program because I've bought in other programs before. But you see, the other programs before, they didn't have the easy start in the beginning of the program to get me excited about to, you know, let, let's look at exactly what I want to, you know, get out of this program. And it, it just helped me focus. And, and uh, again, not only was the information there, but it helps you to take the action, the initiative, to get up and go do it. I take a car in for a thousand and turn around and sell it maybe for two to twenty-five hundred. I don't even think they can do that in the stock market, make that kind of money in that period of time. The best part of the whole thing, Dean, is for my first vehicle, I saved five thousand dollars. You see this barn behind me? This is the barn that I was working out of five years ago. Not a prop, the actual place where I was working when $100 meant the world to me, when I was living week to week. But what I didn't realize then is that I was developing Motor Millions, and Motor Millions has allowed me to reach my dreams. And we all have dreams, but we don't all have the tool. Motor Millions can be your tool. Wouldn't you like to take that dream vacation, spend more time with your family, pay your mortgage, or do whatever you want to do with the extra income? Well, now you can. If you're hesitant thinking of what Motor Millions costs, Think of what it's going to cost you not to buy Motor Millions. How is your life going to be different in 30 days? I am so confident Motor Millions is going to change your life that I'm going to take all the risk out of it. Take my product home and start making money right away or save money on your next car purchase. And if you're not 100% satisfied of what I have to offer, send it back for a full refund. Listen, I know it'd be easy to change a channel and move on, but is anything going to change in your life? Make the difference for yourself. Make the difference for your family. Pick up the phone and start changing your life today. Stop.